everybody, and I want to welcome everyone to this episode of The Booze Geek. My name is Chuck, I am your host, and before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, and if you like the episode, well, hit that like button too, give us a big thumbs up, and I'm going to thank y'all in advance. But, on tap on this episode, we are going to be tasting and reviewing a limited release beer from Founders Brewing, and they are located in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So, the beer we're tasting, so this is their Underground Mountain Brown. They're Underground Mountain Brown, baby. And this beer is part of their Barrel Aged series. So essentially what this beer is, this beer is an Imperial Brown Ale that's brewed with Sumatra coffee. So what they do, after the beer is brewed, they actually age it in bourbon barrels for one year, but they actually age the barrels underground in the caves that are underneath Grand Rapids, Michigan. So that's pretty cool, and I'm assuming that's where we get the underground from. So, and also because of that, that gives it a pretty above ground ABV of 11.9%. 11.9%, baby, so yeah. Uh, might be some uh, hints of booze on this. I don't know, but it's up there. But anyways, without further ado, let's crack this puppy open and uh, let's see what we got going on under the uh, cap here. Here we go. Boom, boom. One, two, three. Uh, zero smoke out of the bottle there. Zero smoke. And let's give this a nice underground pour. I'll just go like this. Oh, underground pour. Well, I'm not going underground, but I'm going to give it a pour anyways. Here we go. Boom. There we go. Well, look at that color. It was pouring a little thin, too, I may add. But um, that is not black. That is definitely a, almost like a iced coffee brownish color, which is really interesting. It does look like a coffee. Um, yeah, it is definitely brown. And we have, oh, very next to no foam on top. Um, just some off-white kind of khaki suds floating on top. But, uh, yeah, that is definitely not black. That's brown. But with that... Let's give this uh, Underground Mountain Brown a swirl and let's give it a nose. Here we go. Hmm. And yes, indeedy. What are we getting off the bat? Coffee, baby. And presumably Sumatra coffee. Uh, it's a little bitter coffee, too. A little bit bitter. And we're also getting a little bit of cocoa powder. Some slight chocolate. There's a slight, slight, slight hint of wood, and yes, as I predicted, we are also getting a boozy aroma too. Well, that 11.9%, what are you going to do? But let's, uh, well, let's give this a little swirl here, and we'll give this a taste. I don't want to swirl too much, it'll probably spill out of the glass, out of the goblet here. But let's give this a uh, swirl, here we go. Boom, boom. Well, interesting, interesting. Well, off the bat, it is it's definitely a lighter drinking beer than I thought. It's medium bodied, but it's definitely on the lower end of a medium bodied. Um, and it is reminiscent of, number one, it has a, uh, a mouthfeel of a cola or a mouthfeel of almost like an iced coffee, which is very interesting. So, flavor-wise, what do we got? Well, we got, once again, Sumatra coffee, baby. However, I will say that the flavor of coffee is not as potent as it was on the aroma, on the nose. It was definitely more potent on the nose. Another swirl, and let's get going on those other flavors. Well, bitter chocolate, cocoa powder, some mocha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, almost mimics the nose. Uh, a little bit of that woodiness is coming through. And once again, yeah, we're getting a boozy aftertaste. Yeah, there is some booziness going on on this one, definitely. And it's, it's a bitter booze, yeah. Now, here's the thing. This is a really bitter drinking beer. Um, I know Sumatra is, you know, it's a, a more or less, I'll say a, it, it's more of a bitter roasting coffee anyways. Um, and I think that's where the bitterness, so you take that from the coffee and then add the high ABV on it, the booziness and the bitterness. I'm not too sure if it's a good combination there. Um, I mean, it's really drinking bitter. 
it's definitely leaving a bitter, boozy aftertaste in the back of my throat. I can still taste it, but I am going to take one more sip. And yeah, I think the bitterness is kind of overpowering uh, those notes of chocolate, of mocha, you know, even of the coffee and of that woodiness. It's overtaking all that because it is really, really bitter. Um, I mean... I think the balance on the nose was pretty good. I don't necessarily think that the ABV needs to be this high on this beer. If the ABV was brought down maybe to about 9.5 or 10%, I think it might take out some of the, definitely take out some of that booziness. Um, and it might actually offset some of the bitterness too. I mean, or that could just be how much Sumatra coffee they put in, you know, they put in the kettle because it is pretty bitter. Uh, but with that, on the pint meter, I'm only going to give this. I'm going to give this one a 6.5. I really am. Um, because I know a lot went into this beer, but I think the after effect is, I don't want to say it's undesirable, but after effect, I was just hoping for a little bit more. I think it needs a little bit more refinement and a little bit more polish. But with that being said, if you can find it, go out and get a four pack. And uh, to each its own. Give it your own judgment. But on that, I'm taking one more quick sip. And I'm going to thank everyone for tuning into this episode. As always, you can follow me at the websites, which are www.pubsafepintin.com, or at the blog, which is www.pubsafepintin.blogspot.com. And with that, I'm going to raise this pint, and we will see you all in the next episode. Cheers, prost, and enjoy!